hey everybody welcome back um tonight we thought we would try the impossible whopper or i thought i would try the impossible whopper eric doesn't want to try the impossible whopper so he's just getting something regular but i really like the impossible burger um i get it at wall burgers a lot um actually that's pretty much the only thing that i get at wall burgers i've gotten it at burgatory as well if you have those in your area it's also very good um so i'm interested to see what it's like at like a fast food place um so he just left to go get the burger my hair is like out of control he just left to go get the burger and uh we will see what it's like when he gets back so stay tuned eric is back with the bag. Here it is. Impossible Whopper. I'm interested to see what it looks like. Okay. It smells pretty good. We'll get set up here and uh, see what it tastes like. I have my little plate set up. Boo's begging. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, I don't usually get mayonnaise and stuff on burgers, like my burger, but there wasn't any cheese on it, so I couldn't do like the usual like cheese, pickles, and ketchup. So I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I'm shocked it actually kind of has that like flame grilled flavor. Do you think they put the like liquid smoke on it? Burger King is supposed to be flame broiled. That's like their thing. Well, I know it's their thing, but like, I guess I wasn't expecting to have it to have that kind of flavor. I would get this again. It tastes just like a regular burger. I would prefer it if it had cheese on it. Like I would have liked to get it like a, what is it? A, a Whopper with cheese? <laughs> what is it called? It's not a, it's not a quarter pounder, but what is the Burger King equivalent of that? With cheese, pickles, and ketchup. I think that's what I would like. But overall it's good. We'll see how the rest of the meal fares. Okay, so I've had some time to think about it and I did really enjoy that burger. Um, like I said, I think I would have liked it better if there had been cheese, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like marketed as a vegan option or if it's just supposed to be like a general like healthier option. So maybe that's why if it's a vegan option, that might be why there's no cheese on it, but there is mayonnaise um on it and I don't I don't think it's like a vegan bun or anything can buns be vegan I'm not vegan so I don't know um but Eric did say that he thought that it would be really good um if they were to bring back the what's it called the flamin whopper or something like that that has the jalapenos on it and everything so overall I really liked it um my fries were super salty our Burger King isn't that great the one that's near us so I was a little skeptical like I was kind of scared in the first place about what kind of product I was gonna get but I was pleasantly surprised like I said it it, it seemed like it had that smoky flavor which I was not expecting um, so that was a pleasant surprise as well so I mean I didn't think that it tasted like like non beef um, I mean it, it uh, to me it didn't taste like it was anything very different than like a normal Whopper. Um, so, I mean, if you're willing to give it a try, definitely do. I think if you like were kind of sneaky and like switched them out on somebody, I honestly don't know if they could tell the difference. Um, now I have not had the Beyond Meat Burger, which I would be interested in trying because I really do like the Impossible Burger, but the Beyond Meat like brats and the burgers, I haven't tried those. So I would be really interested to try just to see if there's like a flavor difference. I mean, if you're willing to give it a try, definitely do it. Uh, and I mean, thumbs up from this critic. So <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, we will see you next time.